Objective accomplished. Briefing commences. Team Beta is searching this sector for vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL, technology. This is believed to be located at a pre-collapse airbase in this sector. Team Beta is currently under attack from an enemy force known as the Collective. Analysis indicates that the Collective are more technologically advanced than us. Be prepared for aerial as well as ground attacks. Upon arrival, you are to assume command of the base. You must defend it and hold it. Be sure to fortify the perimeter and establish anti-aircraft defenses. New technologies are available. Mission timer activated. Structure under attack. Sounds like fun, Christine. I'm going to pause it here, as there's some screen drawing I need to do. We have an hour for this stage, though you will probably have either won or lost it in the first 10 minutes. For starters, this base is rather spartan. As the stage progresses, you are going to want to rebuild these wall segments with hard points, recycle the interior walls and defenses, put up a repair bay, and remove the east wall. Power resource. Structure under attack. Commander, we are currently detecting coded bitstream signals. Decoding. Warriors of the Collective, more intruders are entering our territory. They are not part of the machine. Warriors of the Collective, attack and destroy all who resist the machine. Attack, erase their presence from this area. If I ever wanted to know what a hybrid race of Klingons and Borg would sound like, I no longer have to imagine. With the first group landed, put the trucks to work on the base, attach the lancers to the commander, and have it move out the northern base exit to engage the approaching forces. With your first transport load, quickly fill the rest of your MBG onto the football and start its trip. At 5 minutes per load, it will be a while before they arrive, and we don't want to waste any time. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. The Collective's assaults will be battle groups from the north, at exactly 7 minute intervals, transports from the southeast that will continue until we disable their landing zone, as well as two artillery batteries here and here. There are no Collective factories this stage, but they do have a single truck. If you're lucky, he will spend his time turning the lone oil derrick in the northwest into the Alamo, and stay out of our operations until we're ready for him. One reporting. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Group 1 reporting. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. Enemy base detected. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. In order to give us some breathing room, we're going to need to establish a perimeter and deny the Collective their spotting information. Our main targets, while not dealing with the assorted assaults, are going to be this sensor tank here, the sensor tower here, and a new device, the VTOL spotter here. When they go down, the bombard spam should slow down, and the airstrikes will only go after whatever is in the farthest northwest corner of your base, which will either be the factory, or as I'm trying to do now, put up some bunkers. Side note, the airstrikes prefer going after the top left corner of your base anyway, but as long as the VTOL sensor is up, they at least have the option of switching targets. One reporting. Unit under attack. 
under attack. At the south end of the base, we are going to do some building as well. Replace these two wall segments with lancers, this one with an MG, get an MG bunker here, recycle the cyborg factory, and put up one power plant and four research facilities in these areas. Don't forget to upgrade them as soon as they pop. Also, at some point, set the few units that Beta Man Cam left us to retreat at medium. While we won't be using many of them, you can attach the heavy cannon pythons to your commander if you want. They do have some experience, which we can put to use later. No sense letting them die. Structure under attack. Assigned to commander. Group 1 reporting. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Enemy data detected. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Major research completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. One of the pieces of good news is, the Collective may technically be more advanced than us, but other than the currently underpowered VTOLs, they aren't using anything we can't use ourselves. And they seem to not put a heavy priority on the Lancers, so our MBG units should hold up well against their assaults. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. Enemy transport detected. Structure under attack. Incoming enemy transport. Structure under attack. Group 1 reporting. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. As promised last video, I'll recycle two of these tenured medium body vehicles. Seriously, Beta Man was using flamers? No wonder he was in trouble. And building two bunker busters of my own. I have to pay Alex for those YouTube thumbnails he's been making somehow. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Reinforcements landing. Structure under attack. Assigned to commander. Group one reporting. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Production completed. Group one reporting. Structure under attack. When your MBG finally gets here, it's time to go deal with that pesky Structure enemy landing zone. Attack. As a side note, the Collective have an LZ within bombard distance of our base, but still haven't destroyed it. I guess that level of strategic competence explains why they couldn't finish off a guy using flamers. Just kidding, Beta Man. I love you.
Research completed. Structure under attack. Group one reporting. Structure under attack. Production completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Group one reporting. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Artifact recovered. Artifact recovered. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Assigned to commander. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. With the LZ secured, let's go deal with that enemy artillery and the new assault group that decided to arrive. Let's see how they like 20 Unit units to the attack. base. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Under attack. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Unit After the battle group falls, Major deal research. with the northeast base. The command center here is the only Unit spotter under. they have left, so when it falls, the enemy artillery can only fire what the collective have direct sight on. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Artifact detected. Unit under attack. Artifact recovered. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Artifact detected. Artifact recovered. Unit under attack. Enemy base eradicated. Construction completed. Reinforcement landing. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Then head into the oil derrick pit to see if the truck is actually there. Group 
Two reporting. Assigned to sensor. Unit under Also attack. be sure to start your football load of non-combat units, leaving only the wheeled truck out. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Yep. Nice defenses you got here. Be a shame if something happened to them. Unit under attack. Power resource. Unit under attack. Major research completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Reporting. Group two reporting. Construction completed. Major research completed. Group one reporting. Major research completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Assigned to sensor. Construction completed. I'm going to park the remaining experienced pre-existing beta units south of the base, as I will have a use for them later. For now, I just need to keep them separated and out of the way. Also, Christine said at the start of the stage that new technologies were available. For example, you'll notice our sensor tower is now a concrete structure. About time. Also, the mortar pit is now the bombard pit, which is way past due. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Major research completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Research completed. Group one reporting. Group two reporting. Assigned to sensor. Major research completed. One reporting. We need to draw out the stage for research and construction, but may as well remove all the unnecessary enemy structures. Set the team to hold fire and move them in. Unit 
unit under attack. This MG bunker here Recon will be the designated attack. survivor. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Reinforcement landing. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Major research completed. Construction completed. Transport under attack. Transport under attack? Oh no, I totally meant to put that lone wheeled truck on it and start it flying over so that I could pretend to be upset when this happened. Quick, let me abuse the menu to put it on now and retroactively say that it was in the air when the football got shot down. Yeah, so anyway, you get four transport loads of units to bring to Beta Base, which is why you wanted to make sure that you only had 40 good units at the end of Alpha. Shortly after the fourth load arrives, the Collective bring down your transport whether or not you actually had a fifth group in the air. Either way, this marks the end of Alpha's support for Beta Base. Man, I am not looking forward to telling David of Alpha about this. Unpleasant phone calls aside, the remainder of the stage will be building, researching, and fending off the seven-minute interval battle group attacks from the north. Major research completed. Construction completed. Set up a defensive wall at the map's north edge, leaving the two-lane road open for unit movement. Then back it up with your MBG and artillery team, and the collective forces completed. should pose no threat. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. I'm going to fade out to the end now, as this is 40 minutes you don't need to watch. Construction completed. One reporting. I almost feel sorry for these attack teams. Anyway, the final wrap-up. My team for next stage is waiting at the LZ, consisting of two bunker busters, four lancers, two cannons, two MGs, and two fast bobs. The astute among you may notice this is more than ten units, and I will notice that myself right at the start of next stage. I will remember to set them to retreat at medium, though. Three minutes remaining. Construction completed. We researched a number of technologies this stage, about twice as many as show up in the window here, but that's only because a number of them were just the Mark II or Mark III versions of other major technologies, of which we got the following. Weapon research completed. Heap mini rockets. This in no way makes them useful, but like last time, they are the prerequisite for the same Lancer tech. Structure research completed. Structure research completed. Hardened base structure materials and supercrete, the two of which combined, means that all of our buildings are now more resistant to dying. Sadly, not enough so that enemy bunker busters can't obliterate them, but useful against all other forms of attack. Weapon research completed. Weapon research completed. Weapon research completed. Weapon research completed. 
Cannon Laser Designator, Cannon Auto Loader, and Armor Piercing Fin Stabilized Discarding Sabo Cannon Rounds, providing our cannons with more damage, accuracy, and rate of fire. Systems research completed. The cleverly named Sensor Upgrade, which finally makes the sensors on par with the range a Bombard can actually shoot for. Systems research completed. Improved engineering, speeding up our truck's construction ability, as well as being the prereq for the other base-related upgrades we just looked at. Weapon research completed. Weapon research completed. Rapid fire chain guns and tungsten tipped MG bullets. These two upgrades, along with one other specific one we will see in a few stages, are what keep our anti personnel MG tanks relevant for the entire beta campaign. Not just against cyborgs, but reasonable against light bodies and some structures. Weapon research completed. Weapon research completed. Rocket Laser Designator and High Explosive Squash Head Rocket Warhead, making our Lancer tanks that much more deadly. Weapon research completed. Weapon research completed. AA High Explosive Flak and AA Ammunition Hopper, a damage and rate of fire upgrade to our AA guns, though as this is the first stage we've had AA, and the enemy wasn't fielding many useful attack planes in the first place, it's hard to quantify these upgrades' effectiveness. Systems research completed. Systems research completed. And last, but not least, the counter-battery sensor and tower. This is half of the equation on how one deals with an entrenched enemy with artillery support, though until we get the other half in Beta 5, its usefulness is limited. When we do get the other half in Beta 5, I will go into more detail about this building. And the building summary. At the top center, I have eight bunkers backed by four Lancer Towers in two conveniently shaped boxes. Just right of them, I have a sensor tower, as well as an assortment of bombard pits and a few Hurricane AA pits on the cliff edge. On the left edge of the map, I have a couple defenses overlooking the ramp, and an assortment of sensor towers and AA pits covering the entire western edge of our base. The main base itself, I've removed most of the defensive structures inside of, and moved them to other locations, as money is a bit tight right now. Also, some of what I would have sitting in the middle of my base I can't build yet, but I have up two power plants, five research bays, and also set up a second factory on the eastern edge. There are only six hardpoints guarding the north approach, but that will change in the future. At the bottom right of the map, I'm setting up a two-layer defense, one at the map edge, one at the base edge. I have Lancer Towers and Bunkers, as well as Heavy Cannon Towers and a couple MG Bunkers, but I am leaving some room for things I don't have yet. I won't need these defenses for a while, so there's no harm in leaving it half defended. And lastly, the beta veterans chilling at the south. I'll come back to them later. With all said and done, we can end the stage. Group one reporting. Two minutes remaining. Some of my units could do with a bit of repositioning, but the good news is, Beta 2 is so relaxingly simple that I can take care of it then. Unit under attack. An objective accomplished.